Alright, so it's the next day and got the heat fired up and uh, I figured I'm going to take some resin and apply it to some of the damaged spots. And that's what you see over there, kind of trying to get it warmed up a little bit so it can uh, flow and cure. And uh, while that's happening, while that's kind of setting up, I'm going to go over and run the buffer over. But I took uh, an air gun and kind of blew into all the little cracks and everything to get what I can out of there. I'm just going to try feeding some of that resin in there and uh, I want to see how I can make this come out. I also dropped the nose cone off which was in the front right there. Brought that off of my paint place and they're going to try to mix me up a little bit of uh, something something. That's close to it so I can kind of dab in and paint over it. So uh, same thing here you know. I, I just wanted to, he said he couldn't have, he didn't have any flake that was that big but uh, I, I just told him get what you have and again I know you're going to you know, you go up close, this far away you're going to be able to see it, but, you know, 10 feet away, I, I kind of want it to, you know, at least be red and uh, be lost. And then, again, once the, uh, that uh, U-channel uh, gets put on there, you're going to lose about that much of it anyway, so you're only going to see that much. And if I don't like it, then I'll trim the fenders back, but I'm going to try to do the best I can without trimming them back. Um, same thing here. I'll try to dabble in whatever the red I can and then I'm going to take that same stuff and I'll wrap that right around so 90% of that will disappear and that's where the gas cap comes through. But other than those four spots it's really not in bad shape. And you got this one, this one and then the two on the other side. Everything else seems to be fine. So I'm going to get on that and uh, when I start getting to getting of some sort I'll turn the camera back on. And uh, we'll continue on our merry way. So it took me a little bit to find it, but uh, I found uh, some matting that was hiding in my uh, my bodywork cabinet. And I cut myself out a couple of patches for the body. And uh, the resin's been sitting a while too. I had to go drill a hole in the top of it to get it out. So hopefully it cures okay. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, I don't know if that stuff has a problem with age or not. And then I took a, a wire wheel to the back side of the body and kind of, uh, you know, probably about an inch and a half past the crack all the way around and just kind of cuffed up the area. And uh, first went over with some resin on the back side and uh, just wet it and, uh, you know, taped off the front and, you know, wet the crack down there to get some, you know, to feed into all the joints. And the uh, same on this one right here. This one's just from the front side. And uh, I'll probably build that up a little bit, but, um, Added some heat to it, so you can kind of see it's dripping a little bit, but uh, hopefully that will cure. And then on the back side, you can kind of see where it's you know, roughly an inch past the crack all the way around. It should be a, a fairly decent bridge. And then you get the same on the other side over there. And then one last piece there where it's uh, blown out to bridge that little gap. And uh, I Again, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to try to see how I can repair that best as possible. And uh, if I find I don't like it, then I'll trim the body back. But uh, I want to see what I can do with what I have before I uh, start doing that. And I just got a call saying that my uh, little touch-up paint is ready. And uh, I'll see what we got for that. And uh, let this sit up for a little bit. And, uh, when it cures up a little bit, I'll come back and I'll turn you back on. All right, so I got back from my local uh, auto parts store, and uh, they couldn't do the metallic, but they were just went in a can and tried to mix something up that comes in the uh, same kind of base color, you know. So uh, uh, half full, three quarters full, it feels like. And uh, I'm just thinking. Uh, dabbing that right in there, you know, you'll see it, but at least it won't be a, a white crack glowing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, been hit, I hit him with the heat gun a little bit, like go around, heat, heat each one up for about uh, two minutes and then uh, let it sit for about 10 and I'll go over with the heat gun again, see if I can kind of move the, the process along a little bit. And uh, I got to read the um, instructions on the uh, the resin, I don't know if I can coat it over a certain period of time or can I cuff it and add to it or does that need to cure and, you know, 
vapor out before I put anything else over it, so I could do my homework on that. And then I figured I'd just probably do um, a little bit of Bondo or uh, whatnot, you know, just to try to bring the surfaces up to level. Uh, but if I, if I can do the fiberglass, I'm going to do the fiberglass first. I think I'm going to cut a little piece of mat out, let it set over the top of it, and then fill that with resin on that one. And then just skim coat them with some kind of polyester putty or something. And uh, again, build this, build that one up now. Same thing. Just try not to have your repair go chasing into the body. You know, I'd rather have a line around it than make it look bigger. That's the last one. This is the last one to cure too. It's starting to kick. Yeah. I gave him the uh, the nose cone to take with him. I still have to clean this up. So, yeah, you can see it it's wherever the sun gets it the most. There's that shit lacquer. It was a good idea at the time. <laughs> it cleaned it up real quick, real fast. But uh, the long term is uh, made it look shittier and shittier. So. I think this was part of the thing at one time. I think somebody cut that. I think this was supposed to be one solid piece. But when they changed out that front end, I think they had to make it so that this probably couldn't clear the. Um, This couldn't clear, this couldn't come straight up if it was attached to the body. So okay. now it comes backwards. Alright, we're gonna shut you off when I figure out I got something else to talk about. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so I let it sit up um, overnight and I went back and forth with the heat gun probably about eight times uh, at about 10 or 15 minute intervals for a minute or two at each location just to heat them up. Uh, unfortunately, I think um, it should have been a telling sign when I had to go drill through the, the, the cap on the resin uh, that I don't think this stuff is uh, any good because it just did not, you know, it, it, it tried to cure, but it, it's really not curing. Let's see what we get. So, yeah, that's nothing. That's crap. So, unfortunately, uh, this is not think twice bike, but uh, I got to do it twice and uh, So now I got to go in there and try to get all that old material off of there probably wire wheel would probably be my best bet and I picked up some new Material and uh, we'll see how that makes out and how that cures. So uh, I'm gonna go set this back up redo them again and um, See what we get and go from there All right, so that's what did the trick right there and wire wheel was good at uh, Getting into all the little cruddies and getting all that stuff out of there, as you can kind of see. And uh, that one can't—it's got a little bit still up in the in the corners. But uh, I didn't go too crazy. I don't want to do more damage than not. And see, pop a light on on you. And then you see on the back side, hit with a wire wheel, got rid of it all, give myself a nice clean surface to go again. So sometimes it's uh, one step forward, two steps back. And some I'm it's two steps forward, one step back. So it happens. The plan was to go over it with more glass today, kind of clean them up and uh, touch them up and get to painting on the frame. But uh, again, sometimes it's a do-over, and that's what it is. So I'm gonna try with new material. And uh, the only other thing I, I I mixed it up on a plastic board. I don't know whether that can cause any of the issues. So I'm gonna try aluminum foil this time, and then again a new. A new container of uh, resin and uh, I don't think heat was a factor uh, it was 70 degrees in here for a couple hours yesterday when I was doing it and hitting it with the heat gun and it just wasn't kicking so I let it sit all night I, I granted it was 50 degrees in here uh, zero outside but uh, it should have continued to at least get a little bit harder than what, what you saw right there so we'll do it again see what we get all right, so I'm back from lunch and uh, running a little errands, and uh, about an hour, hour and a half later, 
I cut up some more patches of the fiberglass mat, mixed up myself another round, and then I took um, a section of it and I cut it up real good with scissors and kind of mixed it together. And that's that's the aftermath of what you see right there on there. So I uh, did the patches, four patches around the back, probably each one's probably uh, an inch and a half by three inches long. Scabbed them on the back and then took the front side and uh, took that uh, hair combination with the resin and mixed them in and kind of filled in what you, you know, try to make it a hair below the surface. I think some of it might be a little bit above. I think that one might be a, little, a hair above. But I'll grind them down with a with a disc after they cure. This one's getting kind of bulbous on the end. But again, try to fill in that uh, that space there, and then uh, I'll just go over with a thin coat of uh, Bondo to fill it in. But just trying to get the integrity back into those so they don't continue to crack, and you know, again for the aesthetics of it. So now we got two layers on all that stuff. should do us and again like I said I probably will let that set up and I'm gonna go down probably with a wire wheel yeah unthread those uh, those driving lights and a couple other bits and pieces get the battery out of there and just start cleaning up some of those black areas and uh, I could reshoot those and get all that stuff kind of cleaned up and uh, at some point I'll come back. I, I never ended up recompounding the top again. I figure I'll wait till I get all this stuff done and I'll do it one last time and then I can reassemble it after I get my touch up paint and all that kind of stuff on there. So, all right, we're going to shut you back. I'll shut you back off and I'll turn you back on when I get something else done. When I get the, uh, probably the chassis is going to be next. All right, so my roll of molding came in and uh, somewhere, here you go. I have a piece of that silver one that was the original stuff that I had and then the black stuff to give you an idea of the scale difference. So they both it still has the cement down in the end of it there. So it'll stick to the edge. And I cut a little piece off just to see how much it kind of covers of the lip. And that should be fine. It's uh it's on a clumpy part of the, the D image right now. I wanted to see how far up it was gonna go cover that. But essentially that's the the amount it's gonna hide. I uh, took a grinder, got a little bit more to get right there. I uh, took a little uh, two inch sanding disc and just kind of cleaned up the edges, cleaned off the bottom, and feathered the back side off. On this one, I knocked it down a little bit of the top and uh, you just try to carve them. They're nice and solid now, all hardened up. So, what I think I'm gonna do probably now is um, again, I'm, I'm still trying to maintain as much of this metal flake as possible so I don't want the damage to spread out. But I, th I think I could probably just get it a little bit more smoother. So I'm probably going to tape it off again and uh, come back with a little bit of Bondo and we'll just kind of skim coat them. This way you can, after the molding's on, there's probably not much left of that one. Just a, about a half inch worth of... <laughs> get the idea gonna cover that much of it but that's even uh, still recessed too so if I tape that off and put a little bit of filler on all those and uh, come back and hardest part is just try not to sand it off without you know starting to sand and, you know make it more visibly visibly visible <laughs> yeah that so um, I'm gonna shut the camera off and uh, tape that off and I'll see how I make out. All right, so I went for some, uh, they call it vinyl putty. Uh, polyester putty, it's very fine. It's the, you know, basically for taking scratches out, but I ended up using that and uh, taped off all the areas and just try to do a, a fill with it. That stuff's getting old too. It's getting a little thick in the can. So, uh, I'm going to tape them back off again. Actually, I'll probably hit them with a the hairdryer first to help get them to cure the rest of the way. Tape it back off, and I'm just going to do my best to try to sand them out of there without making a mess of the, the surrounding area. So, I'm hoping the tape will kind of help protect it. But we'll see. Then we got to go and dab them in and 
put some paint on there and try to disguise them, don't you know? Well, masked them off and sanded them down. They could use another hit, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm probably going to take that masking tape off. And I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know, I might paint it just like that. Hit it with an air gun first. And uh, brush some in. I'll let that set up. And then uh, take the tape off, probably brush some more in after that. See what we get. Someone was saying, um, I'm not going to remember the name. Spanner. Tim, I forget, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, uh, nail polish. Uh, women's nail polish. And uh, you might be able to find something. It's got some kind of sparkle like that. So I may find myself around uh, cruising the uh, the feminine section at uh, Walmart. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what we get. Maybe that can uh, you know, be used as touch up. Right, what do you think? Rogue Red or Inferno? We're out of stock of both of them. That's the closest I've come so far. I think we need to go to CVS. Alright, so we got our prize. What's the name of that one? Stay Brilliant. Alright, we want you to stay brilliant. Let's see what we got. Left handed. Come on. Come on. Try this one over here. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's even got the right color gold little sparkles in it. I gotta I gotta dunk again. Yeah, she might do pretty good. I'll turn you right back on after I uh get that one all filled in and we'll see how it looks. All right, I do know it's darker, but uh, at least it's got that same kind of gold metallic in it. I'm going to reflect on there. So, uh, Walmart had a better selection. I could have done better, but that's uh, a lot better than the hole that was there. And then again, the bottom three eighths of an inch will be, you won't even see. That'll be covered with stripping anyway. So, we'll let them dry up and. Uh, that's what I'm going with. <laughs>